Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying of Blades and Tails. This is a traditional roguelike that I've previously covered on the channel. However, it has reached uh, 1.0 and uh, I really want to cover some of the new content. I want to play it for, I'm going to be playing it for about half an hour. And uh, if it interests you, then you can check out the, the link in the description to uh, uh, see if you want to purchase it yourself. It is like stupidly reasonably priced, I have to say. Um, just to double check my down here okay well it's on sale uh right now as of this recording uh but it ends on 16th so it should should still be on sale for 25 percent off so that's 15 canadian which means it's probably closer to 10 and there's a lot of game here there's a lot of game if you're uh, any fan of uh caves of cud or the moon ring game i've been playing um this game fits neatly in that type of game not just a traditional roguelike because i know that that is a very broad term and it doesn't necessarily mean what you want it to mean all the time. Um, certainly that has been my experience, but this is a kind of an open world RPG. Um, there is like a kind of like static world that is the same every time, but there's a little bit of, you know, procedural generation as well. There's a little bit of randomness. There's a little bit of luck. Um, there's a lot of survival and, uh, you know, we're on a, on a, almost like a classic adventure. We're roaming through the woods. We've got a couple of quests. We're gonna we're gonna try and find figure it out. We've got to do uh, the lost heirloom. So I'm gonna be trying to achieve this quest for this video. Here we go. A traveling merchant named Dar Narn. That was the I think the rat I just left. Um, asked me to retrieve two so-called family heirlooms. One is said to be in the crawler's cave to the north. The other is in the underground dungeon of the old tower ruins southeast of the village. So let's go and do that. We're gonna go and check out the crawler nest to the north. And uh, something that really impresses me about this game, I mean, it, it really does feel large, by the way. It does actually support the numpad. I don't know if that was something I um, <clears throat> addressed in a previous video, but uh, I don't know if it always supported the numpad. So the fact that it does is quite nice. So we're going to try and... Uh, we don't want to take these guys. I'm going to put up my shield. This is a skill I learned uh, by training up my skill stats. So we take a much more reduced damage i accidentally hit the white button there that's no good that's no good all right we're gonna smack the nest this is not the nest by the way this is just some random random garbage oh uh, there's a bunch of spiders over there i do not want to have to fight all that i would prefer to run away you can kind of avoid combat i don't know if um i, I guess you do get experience for killing this guy's level five we should be able to take... Whoa! Okay, you've been defeated. And there's the answer to our, our question. There is leniency in this game. It is not necessarily permadeath. There might be a hardcore mode. But um, I'm not honestly kind of happy that I don't have to worry about um, restarting the game from scratch. I think that's kind of old hat. I know that some people are going to disagree with me, but that's okay. That's okay to disagree. Um, so we're going to fight some stuff. We could grind a little bit. On some monsters in the wild before we head to the crawler's nest we're only like level five i think uh we got a spider secretion bag but yeah i mean the, the game kind of works very similar to caves of cut in, in some ways you got basically your zones and um you know you they have an edge as soon as you leave the edge you enter the new zone and um we have an, a kind of an overworld uh map so we're trying to get, I, I guess we could, it could be here. It could be the, the, the crawler nest is here along with the heirloom. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to have to search around for it. It's not going to be straightforward. But let's see if we can't find a crawler nest and not die this time. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, this is a insect scout. We can, we can have a look at it. Rel uh, relies mainly on physical attacks and is relatively robust. Let's put up our dukes and uh, do like a charging blow. There we go. Smack, smack. We only took one damage. Smack. We killed it. Good stuff. Uh, we do have stamina we have to keep in mind. We have mana as well. And of course we have health. And uh, yeah, as you've already seen, ooh, we, had a, we have a plant here that appeared from uh, the log. That was That was surprising. I do really appreciate this style of doing projectiles in um in games where basically like they happen in a sort of semi turn-based real-time uh fashion i i really like that um 
So you can actually like dodge projectiles if you're smart. Ooh, we dodged. Nice. We we also have like a, a mechanical dodge. So, you know, hence I've put up my my dexterity quite a bit, so uh, I'm able to occasionally dodge projectiles. We've got some um, pants of experience, so we get a bit more experience from, from combat. I'd like to, maybe we can, can we use this? No, this is an antidote herb. This is a medicinal herb, which restore 20% of your health. Let's do that. We have a health potion. I would prefer not to use that. Let's also use a recovery herb. So yeah, we can, those actually do stack. So, oh, I probably we shouldn't have used both of them. That's fine. Okay, so there's nothing to the north of us. Um, threat level moderate. I appreciate that. It just like straight up tells you, you're like you're gonna have a rough time, but you you can get through it. You're gonna be able to survive this. I am looking for a crawler nest. It's a fairly big zone, and there's lots of you know creepy crawlies hanging around. Ooh, that thing's gonna explode. So we don't wanna. We, we still get the experience from that, which is kind of nice. We'll get some more ex um, herbs. Apparently, we get experience from that as well. We're going to level up pretty soon, which is pretty good. Uh, put up our dukes. Oh, there's a there's a bug tour northeast as well. All right, let's let's not fight them both at once. I guess I guess never mind. We're going to fight them both at once. We do have a ranged weapon, I think. I think we have, yeah we do have it we have an agile bow of slap um okay and then we what i want to do is actually set up a different build so now when i hit this yeah it'll switch between our bow and our uh sword but i think that does take a turn so we have to be kind of semi-aware of that oh there's a nest over there that's probably that's a wasp nest that's not really what we're looking for uh why is our skills not available in our other bar now. I think I, I critically messed up a little bit. Okay, this is not really what we want. Locks all slots so they cannot be accidentally swapped. Well, uh, I know I kind of messed up a little bit because I don't have my active abilities and I don't know where they've gone. They're like on my other weapon set for some reason and we're going to die now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. Use your abilities. Well, I sure wish I could have. Um, what I wanted, to, what I suppose I should have been doing is I should have uh, equipped the bow on this slot and then went now, yeah, because I equipped the bow on this set, but I don't know how to put abilities on. I'm sure it's really straightforward if, you know, but you have to know, right? You have to know how it works. Um,. Looking through my journal. Well, I didn't see the crawler nest over there, like, at all. So, um, might have to just, like, leave that be for now. Instead, uh, we could, we could try going north or southeast, because I think there's another, the other heirloom is southeast of here. To the north. It might be, like, it's probably one of these. Um, so we can, we can check that out. Maybe I'll try again. I'll try again. And I'm going to be clicking. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. These these wasps are such a pain in the butt. We don't have to fight these. But, you know, I kind of want to build up our character a little bit. Put up our shield again. They don't do a lot of damage. They're just a pain in the butt. When you don't have your abilities... Um, you know, that's that's how you die. Okay, what, what did we get? I think we just got some money. Uh, I can't remember. I think there's a, a rest until healed button. I think I may have requested that at the very least. Let's see here. Stop enemy sight combat music. I am not seeing it. Use shovel. Oh, that's interesting. Do I have a shovel? Take all loot. Area over you. Oh yeah, that's a new thing is you can actually like get an overview of the of the whole screen, which is actually really nice. I, I actually really appreciate that. But I am not seeing a like wait function or a rest until healed. 
So does that mean I just have to wait? I, it might be that I actually don't actually regenerate any uh, health. So we have to use medicinal herbs. So that means we have to go and collect more herbs. I mean, that's a, it's, it's, it is a, like kind of a risk because if I don't find herbs as a player, I'm going to be kind of a little bit frustrated at the like lack of uh, recovery. It seems like there's no recovery. We'll, we'll see how it plays out though. So uh, I'm left or I'm west of where we were now. I'm, um, I'm going to go north one and I think I'll be in the zone that I need to be. We'll see. We'll see if I can find... Uh, ooh, that guy. Oh, yeah, there's a crawler. Okay, so that's maybe closer to what we were trying to find. Um, this guy is sort of semi-aware of us, not really. For someone who's only barely aware of us, he seems to be making his way over here. Now he's aware of us. Okay, he shoots projectiles. We managed to kill one of them without taking any damage, which is nice. Now we have to take care of this guy. So let's put up our block and start hammering him. Wow. Oh, ow. I was going to say, wow, that, that worked out really well. But um, <laughs> it, uh, well, it still did because we have our herb active right now. These wasps, I, I, I hate them because <laughs> they, they move, they can move and attack at the same time. But it, this thing only spawns four of them, which is kind of nice. So once once they've spawned them, they're they've kind of uh, shot their shot, and they're done. Kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, as an accessibility feature, I wouldn't mind seeing like an outline of uh, like where I can move around these rocks. So apparently, I can't get through there anyway. It looks like I can, but I can't. Oh, there's a fireplace, so we could rest there if if we wanted to. I think we will want to. And we got a bunch of experience for doing so. So now we're level five. Now we can meditate and learn and we'll have a trait point we can spend. Shield expert, decrease your received damage by 5% for talent shields. Let's put another point in shield that'll give us a bit of recovery. I wonder if there's a re... there's survival. Oh, this gives us a trap, which I'm, I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, there's stealth. <clears throat> Distracting throw. Insidious blow. There's fun stuff there, but I'm I'm wondering how we're gonna like like recover outside of combat. Claw strike. That's unarmed. Um. All right. So let's let's just go for shield right now. And we also want to throw some points into stuff. I I'm gonna go ahead and double down on dexterity, so that I have an increased chance to dodge. <clears throat> and we're looking for a cave. That's what we're doing. Honestly, uh, I'm I. I I do feel like the numpad is almost um, not worth it for the. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of plants. That guy did. Ooh, there's another plant. Where did you come from? Okay, 39 XP. That's pretty good. Can we break this log? No, there's no other. Okay, I'm not seeing any plants okay the, the combat music has gone away so there's supposed to be two like event things here but i've only found one i, I think the um campfire is one of them i'm still kind of like writing the like uh a recently played soul ash 2 and there's a lot of similarities um there's a lot obviously a lot of different you know differences Ooh, okay this looks like something um Hold on a second. Oh, I pressed the numpad by mistake. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between this and Soul Ash 2, um, which I appreciate. Ooh, the spider hit the uh, the wasp. Let's put our, our shield up. I, I'm not feeling very confident about what's going on right here. Can we, like, kick this guy? Let's kick the wasp. Oh, that kick works on everything around me. Interesting. Um... Nope. Uh, can we let's let's take a small a health potion. Wow, that doesn't give us very much health. I was expecting that to do like give us a lot more than that. 
but I guess it's continuing to recover. Okay, so recovery happens over time. Let's kick this guy back, switch to our bow, shoot them. There we go. That was nice. And uh, we'll also eat this recovery herb because there's a lot more going on here. And that looks like a cave. That looks like the, probably the crawler cave that uh, we want to go to. We managed to dodge. Let's put up our block and then charge them. Oof. Entrance to Northern Lights. That gave us quite a bit of XP. Kill this plant. Just kill. I'm trying to kill everything around. All right. Oh, there's, there's still something else out there. Can't really see that guy. Or at least I couldn't. They were, they were kind of hiding behind the tree. All right, so we cleared the area. Um, it's getting to be kind of dark, so oh, spooky dude. Let's let's uh hit them. Oh, they're doing something. They're doing something. Absorbed, ram bug. Put up our shields. Absorbed. Shield. This that shield ability really helps our survivability. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is go back to our campfire. Oh, I like that you can just like click while you're in the uh, the overview mode, and then um, that saves a lot of time, actually. Resting by this bonfire saves your progress and gives the opportunity to adjust your abilities to your upcoming adventures. Does that mean... No, I... Okay, never mind. I, I was wondering if it, maybe I could like re... Uh, like, respec. So let's wait until dawn. That'll recover our health. And then we can go back into overview and then go to the cave. Hopefully enemies haven't respawned. It doesn't look like it. And we'll go into this cave here. So we're looking for an heirloom. We're also, I mean, we're, we're just looking to kill some bugs and level up and all that fun stuff. I'm also just going to be destroying eggs because I, I do not want to find out what those eggs become. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. This is going to be this is going to be scary. Luckily, enemy fire can hit other enemies, which I really appreciate that. I always like that in games. Um I just, it, I don't know, it adds some fun factor for me personally when um, I can, like, see other enemies getting hit by themselves. It's like when there's infighting. Ooh, this is going to be good. Yes. Did it? Oh, it didn't seem to do much damage. Oh, rammed. Put up her block. This is going to be, this is going to be spooky. Ow, okay. Um, can we dash away? It doesn't look like it. You need to, like, dash something. So, I think we're going to die. Because there's... Yeah, there's, like, way too much going on here. Our stamina is down. Yeah, we're dead. Well, the good news is that we're right here. We could try again and try and, like, slow our roll a little bit. Did I not pick this up? Oh, there's a health potion just kind of hanging out there. Uh, okay, interesting. We don't get an overview when we reload, and it seems like maybe the enemies reload or respawn. So that, uh, that's interesting. So, yeah, I mean, traditional roguelike, there's no permadeath, but it's not like there isn't loss when, um, is this loss? When, when you respawn, like, you do lose something. Seems to me like the cave is also not where I left it. Unless I'm wrong about that. Explosive growth. Why did I do that? That was really silly. I should have... I could have shot it. Oh, yeah. Here's the cave. Oh. I'm probably going to die here. Ow. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do. Oof. Kick. Uh, we have no stamina left, so I can't block, and I die. 
I think it was telling me I didn't have to kill all, all enemies. I mean, that's true. But I, I definitely want to. I might give up on this cave. Because it's proving to be very difficult. I keep trying to get around these trees. And it keeps bothering me that I can't... Oh, I can go around them. It's a little bit difficult to tell sometimes uh, what you can or cannot navigate around. Okay, let's put up her shield. And then we'll do it like a kick. And then we'll dash in. Hit that guy. Kill the spider. Bold Axe of Protection. I wonder if that's better than what I'm currently using. Agile Sword. This is plus two dexterity. I kind of like that. So I'm going to keep that. Am I stuck? Oof. That bolt came very close to killing me. Or hitting me at the very least. Okay, let's do a kick away. And then dash hit this guy. Oh, I was hoping that bolt was going to hit the, um, hit the wasp. We don't want to take damage there if we can avoid it. Just going to hit this next while I have a moment of reprieve. Ow. Oh, jeez. What do you mean? He was dead. How could he have attacked me after he died? Use your items. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'm going to give up on this cave because even just getting to it is be starting to become an ordeal. Um, so I am going to pick up this health potion. And we're just going to walk away. <laughs> Cer certainly, I'm going to kill some things. These plants are easy to kill, but they're such a problem. Kick. Nice thing about the plants is they can't be kicked away. You could, I guess you could debate that that is not a nice thing about them. I was hoping, well, we did manage to kill that thing without taking any damage, which is quite nice. We got some more recovery plants. This game is a, you know, very much about, you just kind of, kind of get used to the wilderness, figure out what, uh, what plants are good. Um, figure out methods like, for instance, I noticed that bomb there. Shoot the bomb. Did that not kill the plants at all? That did no damage to the plants? Someone want to explain that one to me? Oof, I killed my cover. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna shoot back. Whoops. I would really like to shoot the plants right now. Um they seem to have really good aim on me, but I can't hit them. Okay, we hit hit that guy. A little bit difficult to tell where the bolts are going, like what what there is their trajectory. But I guess you just have to kind of suss that out. You can't you can't have all the information. Um, let's let's do some recovery. Let's do like a small health potion. Let's do like another health, small health potion. Oh right, small health potion recovers over time. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, can we like we can't just move on the overworld map, right? Yeah, we can't. So um, we're just gonna head south. What is our Let's have a look at our objectives. Um, main, over hill, and dale. I need to find out what the insect's magic gift is all about. To do that, I need to travel to their main lair, which is far to the southeast. The way there will be dangerous, so I should prepare myself well. Might also be advisable to seek the help of the other tribes, because I don't know what to expect at my destination. Go to the great lair. Um, there seems to be some interesting things. Odd river spur. This is Immerfurt, threat level high. So those those are places we don't really want to tread. Um, why don't we go ahead and check out this question mark to our southwest and just kind of like, you know, vibe in the forest for a bit. We'll do our training. We'll do, we're going to do our Dragon Ball uh, training montage, you know. 
figure out figure out ourselves kick nice got some more money we'll collect some money we'll collect some herbs so we have recovery options like when we uh fight some bad baddies kick lunge I'm low on stamina. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna I'm gonna run away. This place is foggy. Am I in uh, the right place? No, I have to go south. But I am uh, in the location of a town, so we could rest here. I think. <laughs> I generally speaking, that's how it works. We've potentially got new stuff here. Ooh, this is all good stuff. Wonder why it's just kind of sitting there. Um, this is a stash. I can put stuff in here if I want. I wonder if I can buy stuff. I want to know more. Tell me about the way that lies ahead. Tell me about the other tribes. Besides us, four other tribes are settled in the valley. The rats and ferrets are trying to create a flourishing city of crafts and prosper prosperity in Immerfurt, which increasingly leads to resentment and conflicts. There are also the honorable deers and the wild boars, but it rarely happens that someone from them gets lost in our enclave okay well we can wait some time we're gonna wait till dawn so that we're fully recovered and uh we do actually have um sight over this whole zone we could check out i wonder if there's crafting can we talk to this lad what can you tell what can you tell me what i'd like to trade modify my equipment oh interesting can you do something to my sword? Extract this mod. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I don't have that axe anymore, do I? Shoot. Okay, so there's a there's a reason why you would want to keep equipment, even if it doesn't... Like, if it has a mod that you like, but it's not a weapon you're bound to use, there's actually a reason to keep it, which I think is really cool. Um, do you have anything to sell? Uh, you do. You have, like... So this one has extra critical... Dam oh, I don't have very much money. Agile sort of the slap. Plus one dexterity, plus 10%. I'd like this Agile Axe of the Aftermath. And then put that on my sword. And then put my mod... Uh, the mod that's on my sword on my cap. Because my cap currently doesn't have uh, a, a mod. That'd be kind of nice. Medium plus eight percent stamina. Toolkit can be used to disarm traps and other mechanic. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, okay. There's there's reasons to come back here. Uh, the blacksmith has some really cool utility that I I think is is new. I I definitely don't remember the ability to take off mods. But we're gonna go to our south and we're gonna go check out some uh, extra stuff. Like the fact that we get experience for even just exploring. That's really cool. Um, so, you know, there's incentives to check out some of these pins on the map. We're probably not ready for a quest. It's, it, it is very much like Caves of Cut in the sense that, like, you, your main quest is not necessarily the next thing that you want to do. You're gonna have to grind up a little bit. You're gonna have to do some, like, you know, events that exist on the map. Um, we're just gonna... Okay, this is good. We're surrounded. We want to be surrounded so that we kick them, and then that way we can only we can fight one of them at a time. And then we also give ourselves some recovery. Although, if, since abilities are reliant on our stamina, it you're going to have to just kind of bare your teeth sometimes. No pun intended. Or, I don't know, pun intended. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take the W on that one. All right, we've got some money. Uh, map fragments, caps, lots of recovery items. That's great. Anything in here? Uh, there's an explosive barrel. I guess I could have shot the explosive barrel to maybe do some damage ahead of time. So that was that. That was the small bandit camp. We could check out the small bandit camp to our south, but that the uh, the threat level is upgraded to moderate from small 
We might want to... Apparently there's things in those logs if we want to break them. Interesting. Okay, we back up. Oh, I was kind of hoping it was... Since they move two tiles, I have to, like, make sure I, I move or navigate to two tiles away so that when they move up to me, they can't also attack me. We got an extra sword. It doesn't have a mod on it, so it's not very helpful. Swap to our bow. Oh, that guy has range as well. Put up our block, kick, and then, um, oh, low on stamina. Okay, never mind. They poisoned me, so I'm, I'm taking some damage. Unfortunate. So there is, this is where the bandit hideout is, I think. Let's just run in, do some damage right away. Because we don't have enough stamina to do our combo. Agile Elemental Wand of Sorcerer. Oh, there's a there's a lad over there. It's a, oh, he can shoot us. We gotta we gotta hide a little bit. We're also still poisoned. Put up our block. Use that tree for cover. Dodged. Nice. Killed. He uh, was probably. I mean, that was only a taste of what is to come here. Um, Let's take a potion. Because uh, there's only one lad. There's probably another couple of them making up the, the bandit camp. We're going to have to be careful here. Oh, I mean, this guy, just by themselves, is kind of taking me out. Okay, we'll take another health potion. We're not going to be skimpy on, uh, on using up a recovery. Back up one so that that guy can't attack me. Moved up, so now we're going to do a kick. Oh, that was really nice. Does it do damage to them if they hit something? Stuns for one turn. Knocks back target. It seems to me that it does extra damage to them if uh, they hit a wall or something. I'm going to smack kill this nest because, uh, I mean, that's experience, but also I don't want it to respawn more dudes. Oh, shoot. Here's our, our main event. Or at least here's one one dude. Ouch. Okay, we take a health potion. There might still still be more of those. Still not finding the nest. Or not nest, sorry, bandit camp. That guy explodes. Do we get experience for that? I love those guys because they are they're they're just like they just die and then we get credit for that. <laughs> Which is nice. Um hmm. Where could that bandit camp be? Is it gonna stop us if, yeah, if uh, there's an enemy? Oh, there we go, there we go. Seems like, I think there's two of them. There is in fact two of them. We're gonna swap, take a shot. They took no damage. We're gonna kick them. Uh, charge this guy. Put up our block. Okay, that guy's dead, and then we should be able to take this guy out, no problem. Well, I mean, he, he actually hurt us pretty badly. This guy is pretty tough. Ouch. Block. Alright, cool. I think that's... I think it's done. It's hard to tell. Wait till dawn. We'll at least recover. It didn't seem to give me experience for discovering the camp, but it might have been that I already discovered this camp in a previous playthrough. Oof. I guess the one nice thing about, like, I was saying, I'm not sure um, where, oh, where the bolt's going, but it doesn't really matter because we know that they were aiming at me. So all you got to do is, like, you know, not be in that that trajectory. Oh God. Okay, that that sucks. We're gonna heal. Stop hitting me with that. Jeez. Die. Ow. Some really nasty enemies. All right, where can we go? Uh, we want to go to our 
left or west because there's more to discover still. There are enemies nearby you cannot rest now. What are you talking about that little tiny bug there? Apparently it was. Talking about that little tiny bug. Our fox dude is, is afeard of those little tiny bugs. Can't blame him, honestly. Okay, so we've got another camp here. Tall grass. These guys are gonna, I, I don't want to get attacked by a range dude, so we're going to go ahead and stomp this guy. Now, I don't, I don't think he took more damage for, for having a, a wall to slam into. Okay, so that guy is dead. This guy is right in our grill, so let's smack him and then charge him. He's dead. We've taken very little damage so far, which is good. There's still more. Oh, uh, we got some experience for, for discovering the, the camp. That's good. Ouch. Oh, he got on the other side. I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be nice? Like, I'll, I'll just attack him here so that when this guy shoots, he'll hit his friend. But that's not how that went. And we're going to go ahead and take a potion because I'm, I'm getting kind of down to the nub here. I really don't want this guy to be able to shoot me. Or at least not without also getting hit. Ooh, he knocked me back and then shot me. That was that was interesting. We've got some interesting uh, moves that we kind of have to like kind of figure out that the enemy is capable of and like be adaptable. Ow! What the heck was that? Tendril thorns always hits critically. Okay, we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna take a medicinal herb. And just wait for a little bit. I'm, I'm sure there's more here left to kill. Yeah, there's there's at least two more enemies. Looks like three more enemies. Okay. Um, just going to hit this guy. Hoping that I don't... Oh, let's put up our block. Hoping that there isn't another dude, like, flanking me right now. We're still recovering from our herb. The herb uh, functions not only as like a recovery, but also like a long-term defensive. Can we reach that guy? Not without, not easily. Oh, okay, that's fine. He, he did very little damage to me there. Nice. Put up our block and then we'll meet him halfway. And we're, I think that was the last of them. Pretty sure. We got some money, book of dirty tricks, stolen herbal, book of learning. There's a lot of books here. Can we actually use these? Stolen herbal. It says property of herbalist Sid. Oh, we probably have to return that to him. Multiple fragments can be used to assemble a treasure map at the local cartographer. Okay, so that's something to check out. Uh, book of dirty tricks. This contains a lot of devious techniques and has a legendary reputation among scoundrels and crooks. Plus one dirty tricks expertise. Let's learn that. You now know more about the talent of dirty tricks. And this one gives us an extra ability point. That's nice. So let's, we can spend that right away. Um, let's uh, put it in shields because then we get another ability. Shield blow deals 40% physical damage, exploits off balance, and instead applies deals. Uh, it says it applies. I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem to apply anything. Deals 100% physical damage. Chance of 33% for the following effects. Knocks target back. It's Maybe it applies all of that. The one thing um, I will note is that because things have a stamina cost, um, having more abilities doesn't really... like Unless you have the stamina to be able to use all of them, it's really not going to mean much to have more abilities. So I will say that that's, that's one thing. Oh, okay. We got, we still have some lads left to kill. Let's try it or try our shield blow. They absorbed it completely. They absorbed that as well. I guess they, did they put up a, 
Oh, I guess I, I should be paying more attention. They did buff themselves before we started the combat. So maybe I should wait for something like that to wear off before I use an ability on them. It's another bandit, but I'm going to go ahead and take off. I want to go back to town. I'm going to end this episode. I mean, like I know we didn't see a lot of quest stuff in this game, but I think this is a fair representation of the kind of game you can expect. You're not going to be doing a lot of quest, uh, like story stuff in here. You're going to be doing a bit of exploration. It's a, a bit more of a sandbox in some ways, like a survival sandbox, traditional roguelike in that sense. Um, so it's maybe closer to like, um, well, not, maybe not Moon Ring, because Moon Ring, there's a little bit more like cryptic kind of um, puzzle solving and uh, stuff like that. But like you are going to be doing a little bit more grinding in the wilderness and discovering and exploring um you know and and the story uh, stories are going to be highlights but they're they're you know there's going to be gaps between them for sure if you're not not super into that then uh you know yeah it's it's good to that you know now i suppose so modify my equipment can we let's take this ah yeah this agile elemental wand has plus one dexterity um well also this wary round shield first of all what is our shield it's an agile shield okay let's take this wary round shield and remove the extract this mod yes and then what we'll do is we're going to take our cap put it in there and then um can we add this on to it do I, how do i do that is it a material? I, I Do I do it in my inventory? Plus two perception. Modify my... Place your armor or weapon you want to modify. Um, not sure how this seems to work. So we have this two perception, but I'm, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to let me add something what does this say oh i see okay so something has to have a modification before i can before i can change it so it just lets you swap out a uh it just lets you swap a modification it doesn't let you add one so that's good to know actually that's an interesting way of doing things so you if you want to like really double and triple down on agile and like plus dexterity you totally can um but you know that means you have to go and find other things that have agile or for instance um like say i found a find a really good pair of pants but they have like for instance a light plus eight percent mana right like i'm not using eight percent mana uh, like i'm not using mana basically at all so what i could do is i could take this agile elemental remove dexterity uh, the dexterity from this confirm then i take my pants of experience um uh, oh, I see. It's it's getting plus eight percent mana because it's light, not because, <laughs> not because it has a modifier. Okay, so I'm I'm learning things. I'm lear learning a lot of things right now. <laughs> um, what about this agile bow of the sap? Right. If we do, yeah. Okay. So if we look at this, we could take our plus ten percent critical damage multiplier, and replace it with plus one dexterity. And that'll make this bow plus four dexterity. And I got an achievement for that. Isn't that nice? So now it's a super agile bow, which is quite nice. All right. I mean, that's really cool. I, I like that system a lot, actually. It makes a lot of sense. Um, it's, it's pretty balanced. And it also incentivizes you to go out and find, you know, new pieces of equipment that will, uh, like, really um, allow you to kind of bolster your, your character. So, uh, of Blades and Tails, there's a lot going on here, um, a lot of which I couldn't show off. There's a ton of different builds. Like, you could you could really explore a lot of these trees. There's a lot of cool stuff here, like the pole arms. I didn't even really dive into ranged weapons. I used them a little bit, but not, not a lot. There's magic, um, you know, stealth. What is this? Dirty tricks. Now we know these dirty tricks. Short process uh does not end current turn if you defeat an enemy within the next turn the use skill gets no cooldown so what does this do though effects if you defeat an enemy it says the use skill gets no cooldown the turn does not end 
Oh, I see. So basically what this means is that if I kill an enemy in the next turn, my turn does not end. And this is this also doesn't have a cooldown if that ha So basically this is a way, this is a skill for chain comboing kills, almost like a cleave, except a little bit more, there's more steps involved. So if I was like surrounded by a lot of weak foes, um, generally like wasps, for example, um, generally speaking, I'd be in a lot of trouble. But if with that, if I could like kill one in the next turn and then continuing to kill them in you know the following turns, I could use a short rest to, or a short process to basically like chain combo kill them. So that's pretty cool. That's in the dirty tricks. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.